Hello friends, how are you today? I hope you and your family are all doing well. This is Mrs. S and we're going to have a little drawing lesson today so I hope you will enjoy this. We're going to talk about shading which can make your drawings look more real. You may have heard of um, 2D or two-dimensional um, drawings. This is a drawing of a simple circle, okay? This is a 2D or two-dimensional drawing. But look what happens when I add a little bit of shading, okay? It makes it look a little bit more real. I know this one's maybe a little hard to, to see, but um, by adding shading, this makes your drawing look a little bit more real, a little bit more interesting, okay? So let's get started. Um, what you'll need for this drawing lesson is just simply um, a pencil and a piece of paper. So what you can do is pause this video and go ahead and get those supplies. Just a pencil and a piece of paper. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, welcome back. So what I'd like you to do is take your sheet of paper and on it I would like you to draw two lines, two parallel lines, okay? And then we're going to make some boxes just like this. Let's make about five, okay? And so what we're going to do with this is we're going to shade from dark to light. Now what do I mean by that? Um, I'm going to start in this first box and draw very, very lightly, okay? Very, very lightly. In fact, you can draw very lightly in all the boxes, okay? Go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so that's the first box. Now the next box, we're going to go just a little darker. Just a little, little darker. And you can go ahead and go across all the boxes. And guess what we're going to do in the next box, box number three. Yep, you guessed it, just a little darker still. And then the same thing with the next box, box number four. Still, just a little bit darker than the, the one before it. And now, yep, for the last one, it should be as dark as you can get it. Box number five. This actually takes some practice, and you can just take a piece of paper if you just have a couple minutes sometime and just um, practice this, okay? So now here we have um, uh, values of shading from light to dark. Okay, so now we're going to start drawing um, our shading on our ball, okay? So draw a circle. You can even draw a circle on the same sheet of paper that you did your value study or your shading exercise. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and do that. I would first of all like for you to consider a light source. Okay, so what do I mean by that? Look at this ball. Okay, here's my little lamp and you see that the part, that's the part of the ball that's closest to the light is lightest. And do you see how the part underneath the ball that's farthest away from the light is darker? Lighter, darker. What we can do with our drawing is very, very, very lightly draw like a crescent moon, okay? That will be a guide. And so now what you're going to do is draw a very, very, very light shade. Very light. And then remember, if your light source is here, I'm going to draw the sun, okay? If your light is coming from here, remember, this part's going to be the darkest. So we'll make that a little bit darker. Your drawing, I'm sure, will be a little bit more filled in and nicely shaded. Um, I'm kind of doing this quickly, okay? So, uh, I still am going to make this part down here even a little darker. 
I can turn the paper around a little bit, that's fine. All right. I think this part down here can even be just a little darker. Look at, remember how we got our last value so dark, as dark as possible. I will add a little bit more shading at the bottom here. All right, so um, I am going to make this line here just a little softer. So I'm just going to lightly erase. You don't have to do this. But the, the ball is, you know, has a soft texture to it. So I just wanted it to be just a little softer. All right, so here's our shading. You can take any object and um, practice this at home. But let's try, let's add one more little thing here to our drawing. Let's add a shadow, all right? This will make your drawing even more interesting. So again, let's remember where our light is coming from. Okay, it's coming this way. Remember the ball. Okay. And so it's darker underneath here. So let's just add a shadow, which would go just kind of, you would draw like a little loop here like that. This will be very light. You don't want it to be as dark as what you drew here. Just go ahead and draw a shadow. It'll be very soft around the edge. It will even be just a little darker closer to the ball. It will be lighter, again, than what you drew right here. All right? And I will make this a little softer edge. All right. Not too bad. All right. So um, hopefully you've enjoyed this and um, keep practicing. And I will hopefully see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.